Visitors headed south on US-1 into the Florida Keys may now notice a new billboard in Florida City promoting the three principles of small tooth sawfish conservation. Respect, release, report. Small tooth sawfish, a species of ray, are named for their distinctive long, flat snout or rostrum, which is edged on each side with 21 to 30 teeth and gives it a saw-like appearance. The species is found in shallow coastal waters as well as in deeper offshore waters. Small tooth sawfish may grow up to 16 feet in length and live up to several decades. NOAA Fisheries listed small tooth sawfish as endangered under the Endangered Species Act in April 2003. This listing was due to dramatic population declines resulting from historic overfishing, ongoing incidental bycatch, and the loss of essential mangrove habitat associated with coastal development. To prevent further declines and work towards rebuilding the population, NOAA Fisheries established a small tooth sawfish recovery team. Our small tooth sawfish recovery implementation team is comprised of a number of partners from both federal and state government, non-government organizations, universities, and the fishing industry. Each year we get together to review what we've learned through our research in the previous year and set goals for the upcoming year. When the recovery team came into existence shortly after uh, the, the species was listed under the Endangered Species Act, we knew very little about uh, the species. Uh, any, basically any question that we asked or anyone would ask about the biology or ecology of, of the species uh, didn't have an answer. So we had a lot of priorities initially and, and over the last 15 years uh, we've, we've learned a lot. Ongoing small tooth sawfish research employs both gill nets and long lines to capture juvenile and adult sawfish. Scientists quickly collect a variety of information from each sawfish, including sex, tooth counts, and length data, as well as blood and genetic samples for later analysis. Sawfish are also tagged to provide important information on growth rates, migratory patterns, and habitat use. I'm an Everglades National Park permitted captain myself, and the sawfish is, it's the heart of the Everglades. I mean, it, it's, it embodies the area that I fish. Uh, so having a, an opportunity for people to interact correctly with that endangered species is very important and, and trying to share that with as many people as I can on my boat is, is why I'm here. Should an angler catch a sawfish, our guidance is to leave the sawfish in the water, cut the line as close to the hook as possible, release the sawfish quickly, and report to us the information about the encounter. What a recovered population of small tooth sawfish should look like is we do know that sawfish historically were found in areas from North Carolina through the Gulf of Mexico. What we should see as the population is recovered is these abundance trends are increasing as well as seeing individuals in some of those historic areas. Educating the public about the species and the threats small tooth sawfish face remains a high priority action for the recovery team. To expand our outreach efforts and to commemorate the 15 year anniversary of small tooth sawfish being listed under the Endangered Species Act, the recovery team unveiled an educational billboard in Florida City along US-1. Based on the species' current status and its life history characteristics, the small tooth sawfish population is not likely to fully recover for at least 40 to 50 years. We are seeing signs of progress, however, and due to these modest improvements, we're cautiously optimistic that the small tooth sawfish is indeed on the road to recovery.